Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. Hopefully, all my adventurers are having a great day because it's about to get better. Because I'm going to be talking about Must Grow Utopia. Now, we're not going to be talking about the game because, you know, that's a slow progress because, you know, money. <laughs> I have to work and get the money for it. But, um, you guys won't have to wait about getting anything related to Monster Girl Utopia because I am going to start rebranding Monster Girl Utopia and not have it solely as a game project. I'm going to actually start doing merch for the Monster Girls. And you guys should, well, most of you guys probably know that I do have a shop here for like Teespring that I'm going to completely revamp, revamp here. And thankfully, from what I've seen on Teespring, they they aren't really against like a little bit of non-safe work, not like extreme non-safe work, but a little bit of, you know, a, li a little bit of there, just not like actual like full on nipples, stuff like that, et cetera, et cetera. But most of my monster girls are not are not that. So. Yeah. So I think they'll they'll be fine with it. Uh, I will send in like a message once I get like the actual illustrations, but that's my goal is to start working on merch and start getting like, you know, some interesting things to you guys that you can actually get. And I plan on revamping the Patreon as well as this merch begins to where people will get like discount codes and stuff like that, like big discount codes and probably start heading towards another thing why the game is being worked on because if the merch does extremely well because i plan on doing like at least one illustration for each evolution or not probably for all of the monster girls uh, that's probably gonna be great i i forgot to add the the new ones the new ones that just got done but um yeah probably gonna do illustrations for get illustrations done for all of them they're not going to be like the normal like portrait you see here. They're going to be brand new illustrations and lore to the Monster Girls, probably, more than likely. Or probably just silly ones. Who knows? Only I do. <laughs> and I'm not going to spoil you that. It's going to be some il interesting illustrations. But um, yeah, I want to do that. But first, I'm waiting for Mono to get done with the Dulahan because I want to get them to make the logo for my studio and the logo for my uh, logo for the game itself or the brand itself. Yeah, we should say the brand itself since it's you know kind of revamping. But yeah, if the merch does good, I kind of want to lean over to 3D printing models of the monster girls too that people can you know purchase and buy we can start doing that that's going to be fun because i also want to do like miniature ones for you know those who are interested in like you know D D or you know think about this like you're missing game pieces you're playing monopoly and you're just like damn I, we don't have any of the pieces boom there you go monster girl monster girl pieces that you can use <laughs> But uh, mainly aimed towards probably Dungeons and Dragon players. But um, I do want to make them paintable so people can, you know, paint them. Or I'll probably have them be able to choose the color. But then again, I'm not sure if I want to do that because that would also be very tedious. Should I? Because if I just do it white. Hmm. Because th there is a printer that can do coloring, but it is like 200K. And they are like, re those printers that can actually do like actual coloring are really expensive. But most 3D printers can only do like one color or, you know, a mixture of pretty colors like, uh, what is it called? Gradient? I think that's what it's called. 
to where they like sort of fade into a different color, shit like that. Hmm. It really depends on how long it would take the model to print if I was to do different colors or color requests. I wish there was like a site that's kind of like Teespring to where you can upload the model and you can purchase like you know, sort of like Teespring to where you can just come over here, purchase it, then they send you the actual done model. You know, that would be actually be very cool instead of just, you know, most of the sites to where you just upload the model and it's just like, hey, you can buy, you can buy the, the 3D model itself and start printing those. That's not something I want to do <laughs> because I don't want that to be out. Because I kind of want it to be like a collectible thing because I do want to do a, a lot of those. And if that takes off, I want to aim towards like a warehouse with a whole bunch of 3D printers and just start printing and producing a lot of them, you know, starting basically a business off of the 3D printing. Then there's another thing I want to go into that's kind of chaotic towards like end game is doing like a card game maybe physical but physical would be extremely out of nowhere to where i would have to do like a large production but these these are just like goals these are dreams <laughs> but the but you can see that i'm aiming high with this that i am all focused on turning most girl utopia into like an actual fun brand for people that that is the goal but if i was to do a card game it would probably be it would probably probably be digital honestly that would probably be more sane honestly then if the digital pops off maybe i go to physical it mm, i gotta learn lots of things on that and how i would approach that that would, that's gonna be fun to dive into but let's let's do merch first, then 3D models and see how that goes before stepping into the world of fucking trading cards. <laughs> you know? <laughs> because I, I, I was thinking to myself, maybe I can make like an actual like fun game out of it. You know, not like Yu-Gi-Oh! to where it's like super fucking complicated now. To where it takes like 200 whole moves in one turn boring your opponent on the other side type shit it's gonna be interesting to figure out but um that that's future shit that's future shit but yeah the main focus will be on monster girl utopia so i'm rebranding that and once the logos are done, I will start diving into illustrations like I you guys know I use Fiverr quite a bit. I have been looking into cards too. Like some of these some of these guys who actually make these like card templates actually look real sick. And I'm just sitting here like, dude, I want to do this. This looks like fun. And most of them are ready to print too. That's that's the interesting part. It's just like shit. <laughs> like, sh I don't know, man. It's it's just very interesting to see. Oh yeah, I can see prices down here, right? I wanted to see the prices for yeah for these. So for icons, okay. Decent icon price is price, honestly. I might actually hit this dude up for icons because I do need icons for um for the rankings of each monster girl and stuff like that. So I, I I might look into that. But um yeah. Dude, fuck fucking insane work that a lot of these guys are on Fiverr are doing. Um but yeah, Teespring 
illustrations. But well, actually, I think anime was a lot better to look at. Because they actually had some really cool ones. Like, I just have to find somebody who's willing to do Monster Girls or well, no, I don't want to I don't want to force Mono to do it because they already have enough on their plate. <laughs> I don't I don't want to force them to do everything. Plus, I like I said, I want to I want them to focus on the Monster Girls, but I also want them to do my logo because I don't I'm skeptical of how people will draw the Monster Girls. And if it will look strangely. So that's why I'm going to be searching around for the perfect illustrations. Seeing if I can get anyone with like a interesting art style that actually fits. So I'm going to be looking through a lot of these. And come up with a lot of ideas. I already have one for um, Shadow Thief. And... I guess I'll tell you guys this. It's going to be a while before Shadow Thief even comes around since I'm going down the line of each Monster Girl. But Shadow Thief, on on the front of the shirt or hoodie, I wanted it to be like a, a like riff with her eye looking through and maybe part of her teeth like at the bottom. Ah, uh, hold on. I forgot to upload. Hold on. But yeah, the Shadow Thief. Yeah, I wanted part of her eye looking through that, that like riff or, you know, like tear. With her hands, you know, like kind of opening it, and you seeing like a little bit of her smile. But on the back, I want her her backside, you know, with her tail kind of like is wagging back and forth, you know, kind of ideas like that. It sounds like fun when I think about it, but I could only, do, or I could only end up doing like the riff part in the front, or probably have it on the back and have the Monster Girl Utopia logo on the front like a lot of other companies do just to uh, have context of where it is and you know people would be like oh Monster Girl Utopia let's go see what that is you know type type of stuff so I'm putting a lot of ideas into it so if that actually sounded interesting to you just just wait until I get the other illustrations ideas like out. I, I need to stop making more tabs. I need to also change this to where it shifts like this again. Instead of like pushing that and it brings up another tab because it, it used to have an issue to where if I did this too fast inside of like the actual like images of the Monster Girls, the chat would get stuck. But I think that was like Wix comment section. They're a little the website itself's comment section would, for some reason, come over to, well, it would bug out and go to a different page. I think it's fine now if I would say I could, like, fix it. I'll probably do that after this. But, um, yeah, if that sounds interesting to you guys, just let me know. Because I have a lot of merch ideas. And this will support the game itself. So while the game is being worked on i will also be you know advertising monster girl utopia as a brand itself instead of it just being like a game work in progress and you know you guys just sitting here waiting and not not having anything you know <sighs> how do i say this <laughs> Instead of you guys sitting there and just looking at, oh, images and stuff like that, you guys can actually, like, you know, support the game through a different way instead of, you know, just going to the Patreon and sitting here waiting for nothing. Because I'm going to be focusing on merch and stuff right now. The game is basically going very slow because my developer is 
in crunch time at his job because uh you guys know Christmas is coming up, so everybody's on crunch time right now. And I don't actually know where he works and stuff like that. But most factory jobs are on like very hard crunch times right now. So everybody's busy is actually pretty insane at the moment. That's why I've been looking around, talking to other developers, and most of them are also on crunch time as well at their job. So yeah, if I can get, an, if I can start making enough money off of merch, I can also probably end up, you know, s stealing that developer you know, getting him fully on the project. It depends on like, you know, how merch and everything sell, how how far will this idea go, this optimism that I have. <laughs> it really depends on how well it does. But I'm going to try and make it work. I'm going to have fun with it. I, I don't care. I'm going to have a lot of fun with this. That is That is my goal. I haven't uploaded for a while, but yeah, I mean, I recently did a video, but I was going to edit it, but um, there was no reason for me to edit it because the I, I'm now back on OBS from the shitty ass Prism Studio that kept glitching out and creating a lot of issues to where if you guys have seen like the whole timed stream or scheduled stream. That was because of Prism Studio, Prism Live Studio. For some reason, it was very bugged out, and I had to delete it. I already did, like, a test stream on here. It was, like, a little bit buggy. All right, I already fixed that from the last stream. Um, we do plan on playing, as this video goes out, we do plan on playing, like, horror games and sh shit like that on VR chat with uh, Shadow and Alice uh, and probably Stu. Uh, you guys will see the first stream well the first recording that we did with Stu tomorrow ish maybe and we did like a little fun little VR park that was actually very interesting that was like some VTuber avatars in their park and it was like really cool to fucking see that was interesting but I'm, I'm actually gonna try and do other content as I'm doing this just to keep everything you know, the whole flow going and keeping YouTube algorithm happy when I can. But I'll also try and advertise on shorts again. I, I've kind of, you know, through shorts to the past and haven't been, really been focusing on it. But I will try and do that as, you know, illustrations come out and stuff like that. That's at least my goal. These, these are goals <laughs> they're they're goals that's all i can say honestly until we like actually see illustrations i'm gonna try and see if i can make them like very cool and very funny and cute i kind of want to do some chibis as well some happy little chibis like um like this slime girl when i have one the if you can pop up that'd be great okay i'll just go fuck myself but yeah, it'll, it'll pop up there. Just sit there. It is. There it is. Um, like the little chibi sign I have for uh, Patreon. <laughs> so, something like that. I like the little chibis. Who knows? I'll probably sell some stickers too. I'm not sure how much um, Teespring has changed. Honestly. So I don't know too much of what they've been selling from the last time uh, I've been on here. So there's a lot of things I'm going to have to look into. But that'll be, like I said, when the illustrations start. With that said, um, I hope you guys are looking forward. Please give me feedback down in the comments. It will help out a freak ton more than you actually think on the whole rebrand idea of making Monster Girl Utopia into like actually something you know fun and profitable for the game because I want you guys to know 
Monster Girl Utopia, the game project, is not the true Monster Girl Utopia I want to make. I have a second game in mind, and by the gods, if I can make enough money for it after this game, it's going to blow your fucking mind, and that's all I can tell you. But if I make, like, a lot of money off of just the merch in the 3D printing, I'm jumping directly into what Monster Girl Utopia was supposed to be. And let's just say it had to do with 3D models, maybe a little bit of jiggle faces. But I'm not going to spoil it too much because I don't want anybody to take this idea. <laughs> so, um, yeah. It's good. Let's just say it's going to be very different from any other actual creature collector. And who knows, maybe somebody will make something similar out of it. And then I was just like, God damn it, they stole my idea. Now I have to talk about it. But um, yeah, <laughs> until then, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys uh, later on tonight, actually. Yeah, later on tonight. Until then.